Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Today, we just got back from Life Read Feed. I went over there this morning to get some salt blocks and to price out some round bale feeders. And they're running about 250 bucks a piece, so uh, that's more competitive than some of the other places I've looked. Especially and, places that were on sale. Yeah. We went and looked somewhere else, and they're supposed to be on sale, and they're still 100 bucks extra. We're just getting the stuff to put them together now. We're going to run out to my place, zip them together. And then we'll have round bale feeders out there. My place has needed some for a while. But uh, today I finally bit the bullet and went and got some. You got that wrench? Guys, there you go. What the heck is that? Normally I would put it in that bucket there, but seeing as though it's encased in ice, I just gotta set it on the ground for now. 
Now that we have two new bale feeders, hopefully that'll help stretch out our hay a little bit. Um, when choosing a bale feeder, usually we want one that has the container on the bottom. Uh, it helps keep the hay in by the bale and rather kind of helps them keep from stepping on it. Um, as much as it can stay inside the bale feeder, the better because less waste. Did you know that these bale feeders are actually not taxed if they have the bottom panel on them because they're considered a container? Yeah, that's really weird. But anyway, that's about it for this video. Uh, just keeping you guys up to date on what's going on around the farm. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.